This is a video that I made of a cross-country race at my local trail, San Velasco, which I literally found out about two days before the event. So recently I put out that video about the leaves being so slippery in the springtime as they fall off the trees. And one of my subscribers put a comment that he was racing at San Velasco that upcoming weekend and I didn't even know about it because it was not put on by the organization that normally does the races in Florida, which is Gone Riding. This one was put on by Go Nuts Biking, and I have heard of them because I was looking up some enduro races. So Go Nuts puts on enduro cross country, and they're just starting to get into downhill. In fact, this is the first year they put on cross country races in Florida. They've done three this year. This is the third and final one this year in Florida. And it actually turned out to be a really good event. The turnout wasn't quite as high as some of the Gone Riding races because Go Nuts is new to Florida putting on races. But again, it was well organized. And I just wanted to shoot some video of the race. So here it is. Come back for multiple laps, just keep on going. You may uh, be merging in with some of the Cat 2s and Cat 3s later on today. So just keep your eyes open. Four, three, two, one. Go get them, everybody. I'm doing a lot of this video as a voiceover. Some of my races, I will just use the audio from the actual race, but in this one, there was not as many people at the race and I ended up riding by myself a lot. Right there at the start, I kind of let some people go. I knew this was going to be a long event, which I'll talk about coming up here in a minute. But this girl in front of me was riding really strong. She was ahead of me going into the single track. I ended up passing her another minute or two later but she was riding so strong this was the big climb of the race in fact i heard someone say back at the parking lot that this was not a hill it was a climb which for florida this is a climb because it takes a few minutes to get up this it's hard to tell how steep it is in the gopro but this is the power line climb at san velasco and if you've ever ridden out there you'll know that's pretty steep some controlled burning happened like two days before the race out there, maybe two or three days before the race. And you'll see some of that in the video. So this is going back into the single track after that big climb. So again, I knew this was going to be a long cross country race. It ended up being about 30 miles. It was four laps. Each lap was seven and a half miles. And so again, four laps for the expert category ended up being about 30 miles and I, I didn't want to push too hard this is actually the longest cross-country race I've done in quite a while back in the day it seems like cross-country races were longer over the last five years they've gotten a little bit shorter which I don't mind I mean you know I used to race a lot of cyclocross and so I'm used to shorter events but uh, I, I like the longer ones too right this is Kind of my sweet spot for racing is you know cyclocross cross country and so this would to me this is considered a short endurance event or a long cross country at 30 miles so going back to the start i let some people go in front of me because i did not want to push too hard one of the cool things about racing is just learning how your body is going to respond and you know sometimes your body responds really well and sometimes it doesn't respond so well so i didn't want to go out too hard and you know have my uh, body not <laughs> do well but it i ended up feeling great on this race uh, the weather for this one was absolutely perfect for me for racing some people might call it a little hot started off around 75 and by the time we were done racing it was in the low to mid 80s and that's Fahrenheit and so you know to me that's perfect I, I love temperatures like that this section here kind of a fast section coming back close to the start finish I mixed up scenes from different laps so you know I, I, I didn't make like one continuous lap I just wanted to include you know, footage from different parts of the race course uh, this is a fun section. This is a trail that I do all the time because it's right near the parking lot and I ride here at lunchtime a lot uh, during the week because my office is right around the corner from here. 
this was a chip timed race and you saw the, the little mat every time you cross the finish line it beeped which means it registered the chip on your number plate so again I think this was maybe after lap one lap two I don't know but you know it I made the video earlier uh, a few weeks ago before this video was put out about how slippery the trails were and I'll go ahead and repeat it again so what happens is we get some leaves and I think they're live oak trees someone mentioned that in the comment of that video I put out and so what happens is the leaves actually fall off in the springtime because they die in the winter they hang on and when the new ones come off or when the new ones come out it pushes the old leaves off the trees and they're small leaves that pile on top of each other and they're pretty waxy and so they make for super sketchy conditions like you have to be really careful it's almost like riding on mud uh, that's kind of the way your bike can swim around and fish around on the corners so you do have to be pretty cautious and and this day was slippery because we've had some low humidity days not any rain now I'll mention later I think at the end of this video that I did a race out here the next weekend and the conditions were dramatically different I've got a video of that one that'll come out uh, but again this was a dry day uh, the course was super slippery and so yeah it was pretty pretty sketchy on some of these corners but I, I, honestly I kind of like it because you really have to, it's just a different way of handling your bike I mean that's what's great about mountain biking is every time you go out it can be just a little bit different because the conditions change and so uh, this day was no exception sorry about the number plate being in the video there I put the GoPro in a position where I thought it would be okay I wanted the GoPro to hang down from the K-Edge mount that I put on the handlebars but it ended up not working well because you could see some, some of the number plate I actually put the number plate onto the cables of my bike to kind of get it out of the way of the GoPro but uh, the next weekend I shot video of another race and I mounted the GoPro on top of the K-Edge mount and it ended up being much better. Fast section here, I mean you can see how beautiful of a day it was here. Uh, the leaves are starting to come out. Uh, spring is probably my favorite time of the year here. Back on this power line road you can see the controlled burn. Um, I ended up passing quite a few people in this race. Like I said, I did not push hard at the start, uh, but the turnout, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, was not super high for this race. So it was, everybody was cool about passing. I didn't have to pass like a ton of people, but everybody that I passed was super cool. Another section of the control burn, this is coming back near the parking lot. So I'm about to finish up here and you can see, I mean, that they did a lot of control burning which makes for a pretty cool looking scene there. And so, again, coming pretty close to the start finish, only about, I don't know, I'd say three, four, or five minutes from the finish line. A little slight downhill section there. Again, trail conditions for the most part were, were really good. I mean, I'd rather have dry and slippery than just sloppy, muddy, wet conditions any day. Uh, your bike can handle this kind of drier condition much better. And so that was my day of racing the Go Nuts Biking cross country race at San Velasco. I didn't even get video of me crossing the finish line, but I did finish the race. In fact, I got third in, overall in expert and actually won my age category expert because there was nobody else in my age class but that's the way it goes sometimes but it's still a really fun day of riding and i did an interview with david the race promoter that'll be a separate video and I had a good conversation with him and his races so check that out coming up in a few days thanks for watching